Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good evening.
As we are about to begin our ceremony, brothers and sisters, please be seated. Here are a few reminders before we begin. Firstly, to all the students, you are required to fill in the attendance form by scanning the QR code shown in front of the seat and those provided by the committees. Secondly, I would like to seek your cooperation in completing this program. Kindly switch your mobile phones to silent mode and minimize the usage of mobile phones to avoid any interruption. Thirdly, please remain standing to sing Asma'ul Husna, National Anthem Negaraku, and a IUM song leading the way. Thank you for your kind cooperation and attention. Announcing the arrival of Professor Dr. Akmal Khuzairi bin Abdurrahman, Deputy Director, Student Development and Community Engagement, ODRSDCE, International Islamic University, Malaysia, IIUM. Brother Anizan bin Ali, Covering Director, Student Affairs and Development Division. Madam Roslimna Muhammad Sa'id, Appointment as the Head of Chitra, Student Affairs Development Division. Accompanied by Brother Nik Muhammad Hakimi bin Nik Puzlan, Program Manager, Ta'aruf Week, Semester 1, 2022-2023 Intake. Dear VIPs, you may be seated. Before we proceed, we would like to present the safety video of this ICC hall. May we have your attention, please. This is a public safety announcement. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to International Islamic University, Malaysia. You are now in the IIUM Cultural Center. Upon the sound of a fire alarm, or when evacuation order has been issued, please evacuate the building immediately. Emergency situations can be triggered by the presence of potential hazards such as fire and natural
natural disaster. This building has 10 main emergency exits. Please take notes on emergency evacuation routes, locations of exit doors and staircases. Exit signs will remain illuminated at all time. Please take a moment to locate the nearest exit to you. During evacuation process, please remain calm and walk to the nearest exit according to predetermined evacuation routes. If you are in the upper floor, please familiarize yourself with staircase locations. For faster and safer evacuation process, please refrain from talking and running. Once you are outside the building, please proceed to the nearest assembly point and wait for further instruction. Thank you for your attention. This message is brought to you by IIUM Safety and Health Committee. Safety is as simple as A, B, C. Always be careful. Honorable guests, brothers and sisters, we will together recite a small husna, followed by the national anthem of Malaysia, Negaraku, and our IUM song leading the way. Please rise.
Distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, please be seated. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa halul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in 
To begin our ceremony today, let us recite Ummul Kitab Al Fatiha. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين يا الله يا فعل فعل لما يريد we express our gratitude to you for allowing us to attend the launching ceremony of Ta'aruf Weeks semester one. 2022-2023 on this auspicious afternoon. O oh Allah, we ask you for the safety of our religion and the welfare of our body. O oh Allah, Lord of the implementing authority, make the days that we have gone through, starting with your mercy, continue with your blessing, and end it with thy forgiveness. And also make the days that we have gone through with guidance and end with the victory of excellence. Allahumma ja'al jam'ana hadha jam'an marhuma wa tafarruqana min ba'dihi tafarruqa ma'suma wa la tajalillahumma fina wa la ma'ana wa la man yatba'una shafiyan wa la matrudan wa la mahruma Rabbana atina fid dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina azab al-nar wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammad وَعَلَىٰ آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah for with His mercy that we are gathered here today for the welcoming session with Professor Dr. Akmal Khuzairi bin Abdul Rahman, Deputy Director, Student Development and Community Engagement, ODRSDCE, International Islamic University, Malaysia, IIUM. For new students, semester one, 2022-2023 intake. Welcome all the new students of International Islamic Malaysia, University of Malaysia to our Garden of Knowledge and Virtue. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban bikum. I am Hanan Sofia binti Khairul Anwar, your MC for today. Before we proceed with our next agenda, let us watch together the montage video prepared by the Office of Deputy Director, Student Development and Community Engagement. Thank you for the wonderful montage videos. Now, 
may I respectfully invite Professor Dr. Akmal Khuzairi bin Abdul Rahman, Deputy Rector, Student Development and Community Engagement, ODRSDCE, International Islamic University, Malaysia, IIUM, to deliver his speech and also to officially launch the Ta'aruf Week for Semester 1, Session 2022-2023. Please welcome. Sister MC, um, the program manager of uh, Taruf Week Session 2022-2023, Brother Ni Muhammad Hakimi, and uh, the rest of the offices of Student Affairs and Development, Brother Anizam. And we have Madam Roslimna from the Chitra <coughs> uh, office and uh, other offices that might be present. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. My uh, fellow students, welcome to the International Islamic University in Malaysia. Uh, on behalf of the university, I would like to take this opportunity as well to um, express my sincere apology uh, for some of the glitches and inconveniences that happened at some of the places of registration today. Uh, there was an oversight from the part of the management of which I would like to sincerely apologize and inshallah we'll look into it and improve in the future. It is just that because it is for the first time in three years that we open our gates to the students physically. So alhamdulillah, uh, you are here now. And as usual, I can see more girls than boys, inshallah until the top, right? Hopefully that you are comfortable after that restless day of registration. Uh, I'm here to represent and tell you that whatever that is outside of your classrooms are managed by the offices under my purview. That is the Office of Deputy Director of Student Development and Community Engagement. Uh, we are here to serve you. <clears throat> this hall is the hall that welcomes you today. And this very hall will be the hall on this stage that you'll be receiving your scrolls three and a half years to four years from now. And in between this day to the day that you will graduate, you will always within the purview of the services given under the offices and the office of Deputy Director, Student Development and Community Engagement. So that is why that it is very, very important for you to know what are your rights what are the things that you can benefit? Brothers and sisters, you are here not for sightseeing. Your four years here not for sightseeing. It is not for a picnic, for sure. These four years might either make you or break you. Meaning to say that these four years is actually the time for you to develop and transform yourself to become a better generation than your father, your parents. Why so? Because the era that we are witnessing nowadays, especially in your days, are in stark contrast with the days of your parents. With all the challenges, those were days when jobs were abundant. We were not competing for jobs 20 years ago. But in your time, you have to prove yourself and compete for the best jobs. 
You cannot be complacent studying in this university except to transform yourself and become someone who would be more skillful four years from now. But if you are here thinking that you are on some sort of a sightseeing, that you want to chill, that's the word of your generation, you want to chill, then you won't be transforming yourself. Imagine yourself not only when your graduation day comes, but beyond that. What would you work? <coughs> what would you want to be after graduation? <coughs> Sorry, I'm an old man actually. <coughs> I, I. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> but I'm telling the truth because you are my sons and daughters. Okay. What, what you will be facing in four years are totally different from what we, our generation, your parents faced 20 years ago. I mean, the world is a different place. The challenge, thank you very much. <laughs> The world was a different place. Ah, alhamdulillah. <clears throat> the challenges were different, you see. So that is why, brothers and sisters, you are here not for something called now. I'm at the ivory tower, Menara Gading. Kecu. Anta Twitter lah, tulis Instagram dan sebagainya. Because you are in the university. Well, not yet. Your success will be defined not during your convocation day, but rather beyond, beyond that. So please take advantage of all the services that we provide for you. <clears throat> Enhance yourself, engage in all the clubs <clears throat> and activities. <clears throat> Become a better person. If you are not that confident in talking in Arabic or English today, for an example, then four years, you put it as your aim and objective. That I want to speak confidently, you know, in Arabic, in Malay, whatever languages that you have, perhaps, with your friends from the international group of our students. Put it like that. If I'm shy today, four years from now, I want to see myself be able to stand in front of a group of people and speak publicly, that kind of thing. <clears throat> I want to befriend people. Ini tak ada hari pertama, kawan dia sepupu dia, empat tahun lagi, kawan dia sepupu dia tu juga seorang. You know, the worst case scenario, tahun... Dia masuk ni ada kawan dia sepupu, great nanti kawan dia kucing seko. I mean come on, you see? Challenge yourself, transform yourself. So when we are here brothers and sisters to say to you that we have all sorts of activities under us. Do not get yourself depressed because we know nowadays teenagers like you you have your own kind of challenges. Okay? This generation is known to, to be under depression, under the least of circumstances. <clears throat> Kadang-kadang tak dapat like dekat FB, depressed. Penat aku ambil gambar Insta tadi masa register, tak ada orang pun tengok, adalah tujuh orang. Itu pun adik-beradik aku empat orang. I mean, the rest, they won't be watching my video. And you get depressed. Brothers and sisters, if you are feeling that way, please, we have all the services. We have the fellow system. We have the principle to be there for you. Do not shy away from the system. I want to tell you that take advantage of all this mechanism that we put it for you. Okay? Picture that the university's management is like another form of your parents, that we are here for you. Okay? 
help us, for an example, understand you. If you have any problems, join the activities, join the clubs, what have you. Because you are in the ages of my sons and daughters. I know how you feel. I'm a father myself. And as much as I would like to see my own daughters and sons succeed, I would say that I have the same feeling for you all. Okay? So after this, you know that we were talking about the Office of Deputy Director, Student Development and Community Engagement. Look up for more information <clears throat> on this office. It offers counseling. It offers all the affairs and the co-curricular activities. You can join clubs. There are tens of them. And clubs, we have it on the level of the mahalla, on the level of the faculty, the kulia, on the level of the stat, the central level. And you can join. If you feel as if that you want to establish your own club, something of your own interest, ahlan wa sahlan, very much welcome. You can do so. We have many sorts of clubs. Okay. Um, so that is why that uh, I want to share with you with some concluding remarks of which it is a nasiha for you. Number one, as I mentioned to you just now, that take advantage of all the services. Make sure to benefit from it. Why so? As I mentioned to you in the very beginning that you are here to transform yourself and become someone else who is better than you are today. Number two, do not forget to always ask you this question. What would you like to be from day one until you graduate? The purpose of your study is to actually discover yourself what you are best at, who you are as an individual. And if you cannot answer that question when you are already in your fourth year, final semester, and you are still grappling with the question of what would I want to be after this, meaning there is something wrong with you. So reset your mind and ask this question. After four years, what would I be after graduation? Third, if you have some dissatisfaction and issues with the management, channel it properly. Okay? Meaning to say that there is no point of shouting to the world if you yourself do not know where to actually channel your complaint properly. You might be shouting to the world, tweeting, Instagramming, TikToking, but at the end of the day, the administration could not hear you. What is the point of that? Would it solve the problem? For sure not. If you have grudges, dissatisfactions, and even better, if you have suggestions, then meet up with your fellow, share with them. That's the proper way of getting things done. Sometimes you want to improve the situation not knowing that you're actually worsening it. You want to improve it, but then the way that you handle it will only worsen the situation. So channel it properly. Okay? We will lend you our ears. We will hear you, inshallah. And then you might help us in improving the services. Number four, remember your parents. <clears throat> Remember your relatives, remember your siblings. That is why that you are here. Brothers and sisters, in four years, I've seen lots of misdemeanor. You know, misdemeanor, meaning to say that students come here like you, they gather in the hall, taking the bay'ah, of which they'll take on Friday, promising the university, pledging to themselves that they'll do this and that. At the end of the day, I would tell you that certain percentage of those who are here today will not see the day of convocation. That is the reality that we face year in, year out. It is a reality. Certain small, small, small percentage of the students, they either fail or they have their own problems. And unfortunately, some of them were the victims of some disciplinary cases. Okay. Some of our brothers 
locally or internationally. Come to Kuala Lumpur, and it is, of course, a very big city, cosmopolitan, that will offer you both lives, a good life or the life which is kufur, with all sorts of worldly entertainments. If you cannot dictate yourself and really think what is actually your purpose, you would be easily diverted to that kind of lifestyle. We had problems whereby students with drug problems, yes. We had students who had AIDS engaging in illegal sexual activities coming to KL. These sorts of things, I open it up for you within these four walls because it is a reality. It is not something which I make up. So beware. I mean, today, of course, here come as a new students. Seeing that around you and you are still learning, when you are in second year, you will change. Third year, you'll change. And fourth year, you'll change. Masuk tahun satu, jongo saja kan, relax, jongo saja. Pakai tudung pun sengit-sengit. Nampak? Mereka sudah dah apa namanya, fourth year. Oh, dah pakai kuku putih lah, white tenor sana, white tenor sini, tudung pun dah ada bling-bling dan sebagainya. People do not recognize you. There will come a day that you will be transforming yourself. But I want you to transform for the good reason. Not for all the wrong reason. Okay? And remember, I want, don't want to prolong the speech. We will meet, inshallah, on some other occasions. Whenever that you think that you want to transform and change yourself, think of the offices of the Deputy Director of Student Development and Community Engagement. I hope that you're ready to transform yourself. And inshallah, we help you out while you are on your way of becoming a new person four years from now. And with that, I end my speech. Thank you and welcome again uh, to become the students, new students of IUM. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Professor Dr. Akmal Khuzairi, for your inspiring speech, and please remain on the stage. Now, I would like to invite Covering Director, Student Affairs and Development Division, accompanied by Brother Nick Muhammad Hakimi bin Nick Puzlan, as the Program Manager of this Ta'aruf Week, to join Professor Dr. Akmal Khuzairi on the stage. We would like to invite Professor Dr. Akmal Khuzairi to open the box and officiate the launching of the Aruf Week Semester 1, Session 2022-2023.
Thank you again, Professor Dr. Akmal Khuzairi, for the officiating the Ta'aruf Week for Semester 1, Session 2022-2023. Before we end our slot, let's have a photography session. We would love to welcome the VIPs to go down and join the students for the photography session. To all students, you may get ready and remain seated. Sorry, I would like to invite all the students to stand up at your seat. No move, just stand up. Okay, one freestyle. Everyone can be seated. Dear brothers and sisters, we have reached the end of our session. On behalf of the organizing committees, I would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to our professor, Dr. Akmal Khuzairi bin Abdurrahman, Deputy Director, Student Development and Community Engagement, ODRSDCE, International Islamic University, Malaysia, IIUM for coming here. We apologize for any shortcoming throughout handling this ceremony. We will now end our session with the recitation of Tasbih Kifara and Suratul Ans. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
ya kan saja. Okey noted. Uh, boleh dah ready kan uh, doktor dan juga MD. Semua kecil kat dalam position kita akan announce untuk pemasukan. Ini dulu lah Baca dulu Baca dulu Kisah baik saya masuk Kisah baik saya masuk Sekejap eh Kita nak buat reminder dulu Lepas tu baru Kisah baik saya uh, boleh masuk Boleh tu macam tu Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good evening. As we are about to begin our ceremony, brothers and sisters, please be seated. Here is a reminder before we begin. To all students, I would like to seek your cooperation in completing this program. Firstly, kindly switch your mobile phone to silent mode and minimize the usage of mobile phones to avoid any interruption. Secondly, Please be reminded that you are not allowed to leave the hall once the signage is put on red colour. Thank you for your kind cooperation and attention. Announcing the arrival of Dr. Siti Masita Binti Jamaluddin, Director of International Islamic University Malaysia, IIUM Sejahtera Clinic. Accompanied by Brother Muhammad Shafiq Daniel bin Rizal, Secretary 2 Ta'arufik Semester 1, 2022-2023 intake. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. To begin our session, let us recite Ummul Kitab Al-Fatiha. Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah for He with His mercy that we are gathered here today for the session with IIUM Sejahtera Clinic with new students for Semester 1, Session 2022-2023 intake. With that, I would like to invite Dr. Siti Masita binti Jamaluddin, Director of IIUM Sejahtera Clinic, to deliver her speech. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin 
wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Rabbi shrah lana sudurana wa sir lana umurana wa ahlul uqdatan min lisanina yafqahu qawlana Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh First of all, I would like to introduce myself Dr. Siti Mashita, but you can just call me Dr. Mashita But then some of, uh, most of my colleagues will call me is either Dr. Siti or Dr. M Okay, uh, and then uh, I think most of you have met me in CFS But I would like to know from any one of you from uh, direct intake Can you raise your hand? So, quite a lot How many of you from the international intake? Can you raise your hand? Raise up, okay, thank you. So meaning that since that we have the international brothers and sisters here, then we will deliver the briefing in English, fully in English, because some, uh, some times ago when I was in CFS, since that many of you are not so fluent in English, then uh, the briefing was in mixed Malay and English. But now, as of today, then the briefing would be in English fully. Um, but thank you, but please bear in mind it's quite a dry topic but you have to digest one after another because it is very important because when you get sick for the rest of uh, four to five years while you are in IIUM then these are the things, the guide that you will be uh, referring to. Okay, next. Briefly, uh, the presentation today will be about the medical benefit for the students and the COVID operation by the ISC and also the family health clinic, our clinic in Kuantan and also about our hospital um, known as SASMEC. It is sent for Sultan Haji Ahmad Shah Medical Center. It is located in Kuantan. Those who does not, the international brothers and sisters, Kuantan is about two and a half hour from Kuala Lumpur, from the Gombak campus. Next. Next slide, please. Who's taking care of the slide? Okay, this is how it looks like. The first one, the, look, the upper part is the ISC Gombak. So the external uh, building, we share the same building with Kodia Health Education. And that will be the internal, uh, how, it does, how it looks like in Gomba. And we also have our sister in uh, Gambang. It's also known as IIUM Sejahtera Clinic or better known as uh, ISC. And then we are developing our branch in Pago. Those who will be studying in Pago, we're going to have another clinic by IIUM. It's called Polyclinic Primary Sejahtera. You can call it POPs. Uh, in the process uh, of renovation, and this is how it will be looks like when it is fully ready. I hope that it will be ready after the we follow the regulation from the Ministry of Health by November. It could be by end of November can be fully utilized by the students and staff there. Next one. Okay. Basically, ISC and POPs is more or less is the same. And the um, uh, Family Health Clinic in Kuantan, which is run by the Kulia of Medicine, also offer the same service. So we have the outpatient, we have the emergency services, we have the public health and health promotion. Uh, in Gomba only, in Gomba and Gambang, we have the, um, what do you call, on-site radiology service. Otherwise, in Kuantan, those who requested for radiology services, they have to go to SASMEC with the directive from the doctor in FSC. While in Pago, uh, we are going to send you to our panel clinic that have the radiology service that will be payable by the university if it is directed by the doctor in Pago, by the IIUM doctor. And we have basic medical lab and also administration that is specific for the medical benefit. Thanks. Okay, we go one by one. Next one. Okay, what is the definition of the students? Because uh, it has to be the one that is covered by the IIUM medical benefit scheme. It has to be full-time students because 
we understand that some of the postgraduate students is not the full-time students. They are part-time. Part-time is not covered by under IIUM student medical benefit. And what is meant by university health facilities? I, like I said, this is a clinic in the IIUM university campuses. It could be ISC, it could be PO POPs and FSC or is a suspect or any other medical facilities that it built up by the IIUM. Later on, maybe we have some others then it is considered under university health facilities. This one you have to remember because when you go to these um, facilities, it is free. It is outside the uh, university health facilities. There will be some charges will be put on you and some are covered, some are not covered. So you have to understand after this. And then what is meant by dependent or family member? For undergraduate or postgraduate students, coverage is only for the students only. Some of the postgraduate students, they brought family. They are not uh, being given free services, but they are still allowed to use the services that is available in IIUM health facilities, but with a certain amount of money. But then, as um, for your information, it's going to be much lesser than you go to the health facilities um, prepared by the Ministry of Health. Next one. Source of treatment for students, you can only go to the university health facilities or any government or public university hospital. Why it is emphasized on the public university hospital? Because some of the private university, they have their own medical center, for example, in MSU and Sunway University. So you are not covered to that private uh, medical center. It's only for the second opinion and for out to be done back to university uh, health facilities. Medical treatment will be obtained from the university clinics for the students' dependents with full fee, no discount. Next one. Okay, this one is quite long. What you can say, what it says is, if the students living outside the campus, because some of the postgraduate, they, they don't live in the hostel, they live in the rental house outside. So when they want to get treatment, the treatment has to be from the government or public university hospital or clinic and informed to the university clinics. In Gombak, KL Pagu and Gambang students, these are the phone number. You can a, a screenshot with your, you can snap the picture from your, from your phone or you can see our website in, on the ISC. And the Kuantan, this is a new directive. Before this, the GL is, uh, produced by the Kulia. Starting this semester, all the GL in Kuantan campus will be produced by the Office of Campus Director Kuantan. So when you ask your senior where to get the GL, they will have the understanding that the GL is coming from the Kulia, but now it is not. It is centralized at the OCD, Kuantan. And the person that you have to see is Sister Azira Binti Ahmad. And these are the phone number. And this is the email that you have to contact her whenever you are requesting for the GL or any uh, medical benefit related. Or maybe you can just go straight to the family health clinic in Kuantan. So payment of such treatment could be, uh, could be reimbursed. Uh, any treatment t uh, received outside Malaysia is not allowed for reimbursement. But except for the student will be sent by the university for a certain program, the formal uh, so-called study or work, um, work formality, then it is covered by university. Next one. Okay. Students who are on study leave. Okay, now you are coming to study, but somehow or other some of you well, once upon a time, they will be asking for leave of absence. That is called study leave. When you are on study leave, you are not being given, you are not covered under the study, uh, student medical benefit, except those on leave of absence due to medical reason, and it is approved by the chief medical officer, that is myself and our team. Pre-admission chronic medical condition, we call it pre-existing illness, is not covered by student medical benefit. You can ask for help for treatment. Yes, we will give you the service, but some of the service will be chargeable. And study leave due to the maternity uh, leaves is not considered as a leave of absence due to medical reason. Next one. Okay, the eligibility. For the student, like I said, the GL is, uh, you know, the Kuantan from the OCD Kuantan, 
those uh, not from the Kuantan, then they will get it from ISC. And then the student will be admitted in government or public university hospital, you are admitted to the second class ward. For example, that uh, you have extra money, you want to be in the first class. Then you have to pay the difference uh, charge of the ward because the university will cover you until this, uh, the, the fee for the second class only. And the event where the student is awarded at a hospital for a period of more than two months continuously, the Dean of Student Surprise and the IIUM Medical Subcommittee or Medical Board will decide whether or not to treat, uh, the treatment could be covered by university. Next one. You see the eligibility according to the status of the students. I highlight on the one that is covered by university. There are so many conditions, but the one that covered by university is only the active students, students on medical leave, and readmission. Other than that, it's not covered by IIM's medical benefit. Next one. Appliances and equipment and the implant, maybe uh, there are certain conditions which you need medical equipment. The cost incurred is less than 20k, then it's approved by me. And it's above 20k, then it has to be approved under the IOM Medical Subcommittee. There will be a lot of uh, person that will be involving into decision of approval. For example, for men, actually, uh, for the sport injury, many of them, quite a few, many times, they uh, allege injury, ACL injury when playing soccer, playing futsal, or other conditions like scoliosis, uh, it will be covered by university or medical committee if they are playing on behalf of university. If it's just you play because of the social event, because of the reunion events, it's not covered by university. And for your information, the cost of the surgery will reach up almost 20k, and for the international, it can reach up more than 20k. The university may cover the cost ranging from the 50% or ceiling amount of total bill from the companies. Next one. Okay, these are what the university will not bear the cost. The treatment for and surgery for cosmetic, non-conventional medicine, alternative or unproven therapy. I received bills for reimbursement that went for treatment in homeopathy, and routine general checkup, which is not prescribed by our physician, appliances like orthopedics, aid, spectacles, contact lenses, artificial limbs, dentures. Because I do receive requests for reimbursement to buy spectacles. So it's not um, covered by the university. Dental treatment outside the university clinics, any family planning procedures, specialist treatment for minor condition, health and diet supplements, injury or diseases obtained as a result of inten intentional act that endangers one, such as drug abuse, alcohol consumption, gang fights, which is not covered by university. Pregnancy, related charges, and pre-admission chronic medical condition and complications thereof. Boring, can? But you have to listen, sorry. <laughs> a bit more. Next one. Okay, in the case of emergency, if it's life threatening, you need to go to the nearest competent treatment center, be it government, public university, or private. But you have to choose the one that nearest with the government or public university hospital. In the case that you are being admitted, there's no government or public university hospital nearby, and you go to the private hospital, then you need to inform the university clinic. Because if you do not inform the university clinic, you will request for reimbursement later on, then it's not covered by university. Once you are stabilized at the private center, once you're being admitted, you have to inform the university clinic and then stabilize. Then once you are stabilized, you need to go out as soon as possible to the government facilities. Next one. Medical insurance. This one will be highlighted to the international students. For a local student, you don't have the medical insurance for treatment of inpatient. The reason being, for the local student, the treatment is very cheap at the government and public university hospital, but then for our brothers and sisters, uh, international brothers and sisters, the cost is very expensive. They are being charged as a uh, charge uh, of a private patient. So the international students, they will have the insurance now for IAUM, it is ATICA for 2021 and 2022 with the co-payment of 5%, meaning that if the bid is 100 ringgit, they have to pay for 50 ringgit and the rest will be borne by the insurance company. With the maximum coverage of 20k, 
and they are allowed to utilize the private hospital for inpatient and emergency treatment only. Okay. And then reimbursement for emergency cases at government hospital apply on similar insurance coverage. And your insurance benefit is actually uh, handled by the Student Affair and Development Division State. Uh, or we call it STAD. It's not from the IASC. Next one. In the special case, the director is empowered to make decision on any special case not covered by the rules above. Next one. Reimbursement eligibility. Okay, payment made by student to government and public university hospital under directive of the IIM uh, physician. And then accident and emergency cases for international students are not covered in the scheme because it's covered under the insurance policy. And purchase of prescribed medication that is supposedly available but cannot be provided, not in stock for any of IIM health facilities. Any treatment received or submission is not covered and pre-admission chronic medical condition is not covered for, is not uh, approved for reimbursement. Next one. MC. Okay. Whatever tricks that you want to play on MC is all in our pockets, especially during the examination. Don't play around with the MC. So, student, if you are sick, you have two choices only. Either you go to the class or you go to the clinic. Once you're six, you go to the clinic, you will get MC, then you are allowed to stay in your room. Or else, if you are sick, you come to the clinic the next day looking for MC, is not being given because you have to visit the clinic on the day you are sick. Especially, and then bear in mind, during examination, MC is only from the IIUM health facilities or if you get admitted in the hospital, then the hospital is allowed to give you MC that can be used for exemption. If you get the M3 from the panel clinic, your parents, your mom or dad's panel clinic during the exam week is not being accepted. Remember? Because it's happened again and again. So during the Ta'aruf week, I would like to emphasize on this. Next one. Medical certificate. Oh, sorry. It's not medical certificate. It's a medical report. So bear in mind, Whatever information that you have between uh, you as a patient and the doctor in your ISC is a private and confidential. We will not release the information unless it is consented by you. Regardless of your lecturer, call me, doctor, how about these students? I will not release the information unless we call you, sign the consent letter, then we will release the information to the third party. If you want to have a full medical report, the rate charged by the ISC is free if the issuance of medical report is for the kuliah, for our center or department, or person with disability, we call it OKU. Eh? It is going to be charged 40 ringgit for personal use and 80 ringgit if it's for insurance purposes. Other IIM health facilities like FSC and SASMEC may have the, their own rate, but this is the rate for the ISC and the POPs. Next one. So briefly on the COVID-19 operation in the campuses, since that COVID is still not fully, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, announced as an endemic yet, it's just moving towards endemic, not fully endemic yet. So this is the operation in IIUM. Next one. Okay. IIUM COVID-19 operation in Gomba, we is handled, Gomba, Kelpagohan, Gambang is handled by ISC. In Kuantan is family health clinic. And in Pago, is handled by KK Pago and Panel Clinics. And then to report the new positive case, and those who are COVID positive will be put at the isolation mahala. And we will serve you the COVID-19 test free. Some universities, they will charge you. And who is in charge of the COVID-19 operation? It is mandatory. If you are case positive, you have to inform to whom? If you are in Kulia, you have to inform the safety liaison officer, or we call it here as SLO. Or you, have, you can inform anyone from the dean's office. If you are diagnosed positive in Mahala, you have to inform the SLO or the fellow on duty, or you can inform your principal. And the university will uh, guide you accordingly. And hiding the information can be charged under Act 342-2021. For your information, some, a few students have been charged on this act. Next one. 
Okay, isolation mahala in IIM, we call it tafsil. It stands for temporary area for surveillance and isolation of low risk COVID-19. It's for the positive cases and symptomatic close contacts. And all IIUM campuses manage COVID-19 patients category one and two. Next one. This is how it looks like when we did the COVID operation for the swab and the testing, if it's in uh, the occurrence in mass in large numbers. Next one. And this is for those who will be in Kuantan or maybe you have like programs in Kuantan, those in Gomba and Pago. This is the family health clinic located in Kuantan. And this is the, our hospital, Sultan Haji Ahmad Shah. This is also in Kuantan. Next one. So with that, I thank you. Um, since that is over the time, any question you can ask later on. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Dr. Siti Masita binti Jamaluddin, for the insightful speech. Dear brothers and sisters, we have reached the end of our session. On behalf of the organizing committee, I would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to Dr. Siti Masita Binti Jamaluddin, Director of International Islamic University Malaysia, IIUM, Sejahtera Clinic, for coming here. We apologize for any shortcoming throughout handling this ceremony. We will now end our session with the recitation of Tasbih Kafara and Suratul Asr. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum uh, warahmatullah. Uh, excuse me. So uh, I would like to look for a brother name, brother Aziz Zanzikri. Uh, whoever it is, uh, your brother is waiting for you at the outside of the hall. So uh, please uh, reach to the nearest committee. Okay, thank you.
Okey, assalam. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone. Okay, good evening. Okay, so how is your day today? <laughs> okay. Okay, so um, this last session for this evening is the briefing on Ta'aruf Week and also Insan Sejahtera. So we'll start first uh, with the bureaus and also the committee that are involved in the Ta'aruf Week uh, throughout, this, uh, throughout this week. Lah. Okay, this is not a formal session. So you can just uh, enjoy, okay? And without further ado, I would like to invite our first bureau, Preparation and Technical. Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Atira, uh, Fire First Sam from Kulia of Engineering. I'm the head of Preparation and Technical Bureau. Okay, next I will pass to my assistant. Okay, everyone. Um, are you guys feeling well today? Okay, good job. Okay, so I hope that you will wait uh, to the end of our Ta'aruf week. So, uh, let me introduce myself first. So my name is Muhammad Rifki Afan Shah, but you may call me Rifki. And I'm uh, for the next semester, I will be my final year's first semester. And actually, I'm from the Kulia of Education. So I will be your macam cek cek guru untuk anak anak anda gitu. So basically, um, our job scope for your preparation and technical bureau is under the, this hall. So if you have any problems or uh, anything that you want to suggest or you, anything that you want to tell us, okay, you may tell uh, me and Sister Atira here about the problem with the hall. So we are the supervisor for this hall. Uh, anything that you sitting right now, you feel comfy right now, okay, that was under our supervision. Uh, that's all for me. So next, Sister Atira. Next, I will pass the floor to Catherine. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Atasha Binti Rosman and I'm from Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman, Kuliah of Islamic Reveal Knowledge and Human Sciences, majoring in Psychology. I'm a third year student and for this Ta'aruf week, I will be your Head of Catering. Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. Are you doing well? <laughs> okay, so my name is Omina and I'm a third year first semester student from Kulia of Economic and Management Sciences, majoring in accounting. So for this start of week, I'll be your assistant head of catering. Um, and in case you guys are wondering why my name is weird, like Omina, uh, I'm actually an international student from South Korea. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I'll be. Should I say on job? Huh? What do you want to say? Okay. So basically, uh, what we do is we cater food for you students, and we'll provide you for um, breakfast and lunch starting from day three, day three of your taruf week. For dinner, we don't provide you any food, but you are given coupon, so you can use that at any um, mahalah cafeterias. And Atasha here will help to explain on allergic form. Uh, okay, next slide. Okay. Okay, uh, attention to all students. 
you are advised to fill in this allergic form before 11 p.m. today. So if you have any inquiries, you uh, you can contact the number in that uh, form. Okay. Um, you guys want to hear Mina speak Korean? Okay. 여러분 환영합니다. And here's trademark from us. Kateri, Kateri le. So I pass the stage to Specta. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Ngantuk semua ni. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alright. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Muhammad Izaiman bin Rapilus. I'm the fourth year student from Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman, Kuliah of Islamic Rebuild Knowledge and Human Sciences, majoring in Arabic Language and Literature. And I'll be the head of special task for this start of week, semester 1, 2021-2022. Now I will pass the floor to my assistant. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mawadah Binti Faisal. I am third year student from Kulia of Education, majoring in teaching Arabic as second language. I am the assistant head of this bureau. Now, we would like to explain about our job scope. Yeah, as you can see in the slide, uh, for the first, calm down, everybody, calm down. So for the first, uh, first job scope of our bureau is to uh, assist uh, CELPAD, which is Center for Pre-Language and Academic Development in conducting uh, English placement test Arabic, and also Arabic placement test. This is especially uh, to, all new, to all new students. Please take note that for the EPT and also AP, APT will be conducted tomorrow. Uh, and, so, and also, don't forget to bring four things, which is first one, your metric card. If you didn't have your metric card, uh, is it, it, it's okay. Second one is your IC. Uh, or your passport. Third is your offer letter, and also fourth is your copy of payment slip. So make sure to bring three or four items that have been mentioned before to enter the examination hall. Next, our bureau is also responsible in distributing metric card. As you can see at the mahalla uh, at during the recession, uh, recession period after, uh, before this. So we are responsible in distributing metric card to all of you. For those who didn't get their metric card yet, you may retrieve your metric card at Azman Hashim at Koprasi at Azman Hashim Complex Level Two. It is nearby Richiamo. You will uh, you can go to Koprasi at any time, but it is uh, advised to all of you to go Koprasi after Ta'arfui. And lastly, we are also in charge in preparing and distributing attendance and feedback form. Therefore, all students are compulsory to fill in the attendance form and feedback form through all the session. That's all from us. Thank you for your kind attention. Next, I would like to invite the next bureau, Multimedia Bureau. Please welcome. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Zaim bin Muhammad Razali Fourth year, first semester Majoring in accounting from the Kuliah of Economics and Management Sciences 
Uh, Assalamualaikum. <coughs> Alright, my name is my name is Kamara Asha Bezakaria, and I'm uh, fourth year first semester from Kuliah of Architecture and Environmental Design, and I am the he assistant head for multimedia. Basically, our job scope is to taking photos and videos, and to make sure all of you will be keep updated with the new informations. I also, we will keep track of our social media, and such as Instagram, Twitter, and also website. So don't forget to follow our official Twitter and Instagram account, and don't forget to tag us on Instagram, like story or post, and don't forget to hashtag put our hashtag Tawai Evolution. Okay, next uh, we would like to invite the next bureau which is Program Coordinator. Thank you. Alright, uh, hi everyone. Welcome to IIM. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Wan Zaim Zarfan bin Wan Ibrahim and I'm a final year student from Korea of Economics and Management Sciences. And I will be the head program coordinator throughout this, throughout this Ta'arufi. Assalamualaikum everyone. I'm Nurul Yasmin. I'm a second year student from Korea of Economics and Management Sciences, majoring in accounting. Anyone here from internationals? <laughs> Welcome to all students. I'm from Bandung, Indonesia. <laughs> so happy to meet you all here. So what is um, the main task of program coordinators? Um, our main task is to make sure the smoothness of these the, the whole program of Ta'aruf Week and by um, one of them is like by preparing all the um, preparing all the details needed for all slots and sessions and we also uh, coordinate with all other bureaus to make sure that all um, programs are handled smoothly. Okay, next. Um. Uh, we, also, we also will we also recruit and train Ba'an leaders that will be involved during upcoming Ba'an ceremony. So later we will make a recruitment announcement. So I hope more, more of you will join and use this opportunity to gain a new experience and by becoming the Ba'an leaders for this time of week. So next. Next we will invite Discipline, Discipline and Ibadah, Ibadah Bureau. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ahmad bin Abdul Hamid I want everyone to remember my name You okay? Uh, no, no, need, no, need, no need to applause uh, I am from Kuliah of Engineering uh, already surviving in fourth year and um, my hometown is from North Johor. <laughs> okay. and, and this is my assistant. Uh, she's a bit shy, so I will uh, talk for him. Lah. Talk, uh, talk for her. Hey, it's okay. Everyone, stay calm. Uh, she is my assistant. Her name is uh, Farhana Fadwa. She is from uh, Kuliah of Education and also uh, surviving fourth year. And for my speech, I, I want to remind all of you, since you are in uh, in um, uh, in first day lah, uh, we are a bit lenient. Uh, because it is your first day, we don't actually not we we not strict 
for your um, dress code. So we want, we just want everyone to be aware for the proper dress code for uh, throughout the whole Ta'aruf week. So as you can see in the screen, uh, I want all brothers to to take note. Uh, actually, this dress code you have already uh, they already posted in ta Telegram group, Telegram channel. But still, I want to emphasize about the hair. Uh, I, I can, for the shirt or shoes or trousers, I don't, see, uh, I don't see any much trouble. But for the hair, for brothers, uh, I, see, uh, I have seen a bit uh, problem. Lah. So for those who uh, yang sedariri, yeah. So uh, I hope you can take countermeasure for that, uh, bef because I don't want to get mad. Uh, I will. I I I want to be lenient uh, towards everyone. And then next for sisters. Sisters, uh, these are the formal attire and semi-formal attire. Uh, just ensure that uh, the sisters are following the dress code, uh, especially the scarf. You need to cover the chest part, okay? And then <coughs> for the baju kurung and also the shoes. Don't wear slippers. Uh, I know uh, you might think that we don't see your leg in, inside the skirt, inside, inside the kain lah, kan? Uh, we don't see. We don't want to see it. So, but still, you need to wear proper shoes. Okay, because uh, black shoes. Because my assistant is so angry when when they see a, a violation of dress code, she's so angry. She want to punch the wall. <laughs> and also, <laughs> uh, but that's all. I want to make joke. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's all from us, uh, from Viru and I. Uh, by the way, then I have uh, hashtag hashtag DNIM for you. Okay. Eh, ada ke sini? So, <laughs> um, and also we have uh, Ta'arufi hashtag, which is Taratatawe. Ah, nanti uh, lepas ni kita buat ramai-ramai, boleh? Boleh. So uh, for now, uh, I also uh, I call upon my friend from registration bureau, Registku Registmu. Tiba silakan. Hi, hello, Assalamualaikum. <laughs> okay, my name is Fatin Zafira Binti Zaidi. I am the head bureau of registration. Okay, my name is Nor Fadila Binti Nor Azam. I'm assistant head registration. Okay, so um, everyone have registered this morning, right? <laughs> uh, so what you have registered just now is Handled by our bureau. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, um, our job scope also includes lost and found counter. So there are uh, some important notes for you. Okay. For those who have bil uh, who has lost their belonging, uh, you can come to our lost and found counter in front of the main hall. And uh, you can find your belonging. So uh, right now, uh, it, we have three metric card, three room keys, and four passport photo at our lost and found counter. So you can take it, okay? Okay, so from registration. One, two, three. Registro, registro. <laughs> okay, so next we will call upon our... Uh, beautiful ladies, which is from Welcoming and Welfare. <laughs> okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, sorry for my cracked voice, but I am Norlena Izati Benti Rosli. I am fourth year second semester student from Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman Kuliah of Islamic Revealed Knowledge and Human Sciences, major, majoring in Usulatin. And, <laughs> and and I am the head of Welcoming and Welfare Bureau. So, okay. <laughs> okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Widat Syairah binti Hairuddin. I am third year first semester from <laughs> Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman. Eh, Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman, Kuliah of Islamic Review Knowledge. And human sciences, ha, panjang kan? Majoring in communication. I am assistant head of welcoming and welfare. Terus <laughs> teruskan. Oh, okay. All right. So first, I'm going. To, we are going to remind you a few things. First, we're going to tell you about the B40 application. So for this application, it only applies to uh, students with combined parents' monthly income below four thousand ringgit, and it is only applicable to Malaysian and IIUM active student. So some benefits that you could get is Mahabah Food Coupon, Mahabah Food Bank, and financial assistance and many others. So if you're not sure if you are eligible or not, just apply it, okay? Dapat tak dapat, lain cerita. Okay, next. Wait, wait. Okay, so next. <coughs> so there are some important notes for tariff sessions. If you are on medication, please bring your own medicines. Next, please refer to the nearest committee or welfare committee. If you are having or showing any symptoms such as flu, coughing and fever and others. And lastly, uh, the important one, please refer your in enrollment email for medical checkup schedules. Okay, you got it? Okay, so I will pass the floor to the next two. Secretaries. Testing. Melati kuntum, tumbuh melata. Sayang merbah di pohon cemara. Assalamualaikum, mulanya kata. Saya sembah pembuka bicara. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening everybody to all my beloved new intake students. My name is Khadija Binti Sofi. I am a fourth year student from Kuliah of Economics and Management Sciences majoring in uh, business administration. Uh, I'm from Central Melaka uh, and I will be holding the position of Secretary 1 for this Star of Week, Semester 1, 2022-2023. Test, test. Okay, I have one pantun as well. Sayang kumbang mencari makan, terbang seiring di tepi kali. Selamat datang, kami ucapkan, moga diiringi restu ilahi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good evening everyone. My name is Muhammad Shafiq Daniel Birizal and I am a 4-year student from Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman, Kuliah of Islamic River Knowledge and Human Sciences. So, and I am your secretary too for this Ta'ar of Week. Okay. So, uh, some of the job scopes of uh, being a secretary, uh, for me personally, uh, I would do minute meetings, uh, reports and also, and also formal letters to uh, officers here and there. So basically, I do the boring stuff, so you don't have to. Other than that, we are also responsible to amend the Ta'arufit schedule when necessary and uh, assist uh, the program manager and assistant program manager whenever needed. I think that's all from us. Thank you so much. So now, I would like to uh, invite the two very important people for this Ta'arufit. Starting with our assistant program manager, Izer. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aiza Adani Binti Jeffrey. You can call me Aiza, or as they call me, Izer. And 
I'm a fourth year final semester student from Kulia of Information and Communication Technology, KICT, majoring in computer science, spe specializing in network and security. I will be the assistant program manager for this Ta'aruf week. Okay, Assalamualaikum again. Um, ahlan wa sahlan. Marhaban bikum ila hazil jami'ah al-islamiyah al-alamiyah ma'alizia. Kaifa halukum jami'an? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah is an Arabic word. Okay. So, I am Nik Muhammad Hakimi bin Nik Puzlan. Uh, fourth year student from AHAS, Kuliah of Islamic Reveal Knowledge and Human Sciences, majoring in Fiqh and Usul Fiqh. Tiba semua senyap. Okay. So, <laughs> welcome to IIOM. So, yeah, Aiza. Firstly, we would like to welcome all students to the first ever physical Ta'aruf week after two years of having virtual and hybrid sessions. Congratulations, everyone. You are the chosen one to join this session. We hope that this Ta'aruf week will be memorable as well as beneficial for your journey in the garden of knowledge and virtue. Okay, so for my part, um, there will be a little, a brief information about Ta'aruf Week and also about Insan Sejahtera as what it mentions in the schedule. Okay, so for the Ta'aruf Week session, we'll start today with your registration this morning. Okay, from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. just now. And now here, we are here in the main hall of ICC, IIUM Cultural Centre for our first session and until this last session for this evening. Okay, and this Ta'aruf week we com will comprise of three modes of um, three modes of uh, programs. Okay, in this hall we are having the physical session. Okay, you will be ushered. Okay, uh, first year students being ushered, not PMs. Okay, so ushered into this hall for the physical session, such as this one. Okay, we also have the online sessions. Okay, tonight you will be having the first online session with our counselling unit, IIOM. So you can stay at your home, at your home, at your mahallah. Okay, <laughs> bukan home eh, baru sampai tak nak balik. Okay. So you can stay at your mahallah and we will provide you with the uh, YouTube channel, YouTube links for you to enter the session. Okay, and uh, we also have uh, the broadcast session where we are having this uh, physical session and online sessions to, together with our friends in Kuantan and Pagoh campuses, okay? So, we also are having a few, not a few lah, many direct intake students, right? From Kuantan and Pagoh. Can you please raise up your hands? We want to see our friends from KLM and Sciences students. Okay, so welcome to Gomba. Okay, you are having your examination tomorrow for EPT and APT. Okay, so CFS student, you can tidur lah. So, okay. So, <laughs> I would like to say good luck for the students that are having your examination tomorrow. And our Ta'aruf week will continue tomorrow's night with the Integration Night Forum, also online. Okay, so you can lay down in your bed and enter the session. Okay, and then on Tuesday, we'll be meeting here again. Okay, early in the morning, our committee from Discipline Ibadah just now, Brother Ahmad, okay, will usher you all to this venue again. And then until the end of Ta'aruf week, we will be inside, uh, we have another online session and we will, we will end our Ta'aruf week on Friday, okay, with the Bay'ah ceremony. Okay, I hope you guys, buka I hope, okay, it is, it is compulsory for all of you to attend all sessions as all the sessions are important for you to understand the system and what uh, you're going to have in this campus, in this IIUM life. Okay, next, the next slide is about Insan Sejahtera Session. As a part of reconceptualization of Ta'aruf Week, okay, we've introduced since last three semesters the Insan Sejahtera Session. Okay, for you, for us to be a balanced person, okay, okay I, read, I just read here, eh? and harmonious person equipped with useful knowledge and specialized skills and committed to Islamic values and practices. Okay, so what, how is the Insan Sejahtera session will be going on? Okay, next slide. Okay, um, okay basically, the modules of Insan Sejahtera will be handled by your kuliah. So, at this 
uh, Wednesday, okay, after the session with Turkey session, will, you will move to your kuliah for the first time to meet your seniors in the kuliah and to have the sessions there in San Zatra session. Okay, so we have seven kuliah. Okay, these seven kuliah in Gomba will attend the session in San Sejahtera. Okay, okay. Uh, can we move to the next slide? Okay, so in San Sejahtera module will comprise us of Khair, Khalifah, Amanah, Ikra, and Rahmatalil Alamin as in our IIM song lah. Okay, so the next slide. You will be having uh, slots, briefing slots, kuliah briefing, and also activities in groups, okay, with your lecturers and seniors in your respective kuliahs on that day. Okay, so further information and details will be introduced, will be provided by your uh, own kuliah. And I hope that all of you will be enjoyed lah, since uh, the activities in kuliah will be, will be having um, fun, a more fun activity lah during the Insan Sejahtera session. Okay, and as last word from me, I would like to welcome again all of you to this IIUM, International Islamic University Malaysia. I hope you are having your fun time learning here for four years or five years. If there is anything like what Prof. Akman said, just consult us and do not be shy. Just gain as many knowledge as possible. And if later on, you can be also one of the Ta'arufik committee, okay? Okay, Aiza. Oh, Sally. So, one, two, three. Welcome, Welcome to, to IIUM. Hashtag Tawe Evolution. Hashtag Tarata Tawe. Thank you. Sorry, 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 lawak pula. Okay, so that's all for this evening. So everyone is reminded to attend tonight's session, online session. So all of you are in the Telegram group, right? Okay, so we will post the link YouTube channel for tonight's session. So please attend, okay, and fill up the attendance form. And also for today's session, please fill up the attendance form in front of your chairs, okay? Okay, that's all for today. Thank you and have a nice rest, okay? Bye. Committees can be standby. Um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. If I may have your attention for a while, for a second, kejap je nak attention korang. Okay. Uh, my name is Ahmad Mushtaba bin Abdullah Bukhari. I'm a law student, third year law student, civil and syariah. Is there any law student here? Uh, oh, lucky je. Uh, habislah korang. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... First of all, we want to congratulate you uh, for your admission to our university, to the university. And you have unlocked a new chapter in your life. And you are one step closer to your goals. So, uh, right now, I want to inform you about uh, our brief, uh, briefing about bayar ceremony. Okay. So, this Friday, 7 October, will be your final event for Ta'aruf Week. Okay, this Friday, 7 October. So, the last event will be a bayah ceremony, which is all of you will take an oath in front of all uh, IIUM highest guests okay, to show your, your determination in leaning in IIUM. So, to choose a bayah leader, we will need 11 people. Okay? Okay, I'm sorry. We will need 10 people. Okay, I want 10 volunteers, 5 from sisters and 5 from brothers. Okay? To become the bayah leader. So, if any of you is interested, you can come in front and see me and you can give me your number. Ten volunteers, first come, first serve, five brothers, five sisters, four by our ceremony. Okay, Assalamualaikum. So, uh, anyone who are interested to be the by leader, you can just uh, raise your hand and the nearest committee will approach you. Is there any volunteer? There are the behind. Kalau tak masuk TV, masuk YouTube. Tak masuk YouTube, masuk TikTok. Itu je. Okay, volunteers, five brothers and five sisters. There, there, I, I can see committee. from the sister area. One brother. Okay, one brother. Okay, you, give a clap to him, please. Brother. 
Okay, we found another one more brother. Okay, we can also see the brothers from the upstairs. Please come down. Okay, another sisters from upstairs and brothers here. Okay, please come forward. Okay, any international students are, vol are volunteering to be the bio leaders? International students from female, from sisters. You will become the bayah leaders for the bayah ceremony and then you will uh, read the oath in front of many IAM management rectors, in front of the rectors and also all the deans and head of departments and so on. So you will become the representative of IAM to give the oath to the processions. Anyone else? Want to volunteers? Okay. Still lagi dua orang volunteer. Huh? Still lagi dua orang volunteer. Tujuh. Ambil juga. Ambil jadi lah. Ambil jadi. Okay, so I have another announcement to be made. Uh, so is, uh, if there is still a person who uh, like to be the by leaders, so uh, you just need to pass your numbers to the nearest committee. Okay, PC, please use, uh, raise your hand, please, PC. Okay, you can just give your phone number to the nearest PC and then uh, we will select you for the by selection first. Okay, that's all. Thank you.